All right, everybody, so welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today we have CVC going on alongside this rare only spider tournament. Now these faction specific, rarity specific, you know, these restrictions on the spider tournaments actually are amazing in my opinion, because one, you spend about 2,100 energy, you're gonna get a void shard, these uh, soul coins, and then the mortal soul stones, which I mean, they're, they're worth something, right? They're not terrible. They're definitely gonna help you awaken your champions, but you also are gonna be very likely to get an ancient shard, and if you push hard enough, you get six star relentless gear pretty easily. So these tournaments are definitely worth doing. And to be honest, the rare only tournament, I think really everybody can do it. I mean, cause you're probably maxing out your starter champion. You probably have decent life still gear. It could be very long runs, but you can get it done. Now the first team I want to show you is a team that I'll probably be using. And that is Dilgo with four cold hearts. Now I understand not everybody has four cold hearts. You can definitely do stage 20 or you can do stage 10 that I'm gonna talk about in just a few minutes or a few seconds once we finish this run, which is super fast. But if you don't have four cold hearts, you can definitely build a more, I guess, um, usual team. You could throw in a Renegade, you could throw in a um, Spiderling tank champion. So a force affinity champion, since this is spirit affinity, if you can make them strong enough to survive, or you could throw in a champion like Gnarlhorn, who's gonna provoke all the Spiderlings, place unkillable on himself. So definitely a very solid option in Gnarlhorn, which is the Skinwalker's rare. I'll show you in just a second. I think he used to be used for a fusion or something, but here we go. Right here, this dude, he has a provoke on the A2 ability. Obviously these champions are gonna, you're gonna wanna book them up because you're gonna want the cooldown to be reduced on all these champions. Level 60 is ideal, but for champions like Gnarlhorn, champions like Renegade, you're not gonna need them fully maxed. And Dilgul as well, you're not gonna need him fully maxed because all you need on Dilgul is his books to be fully done. So he has a very high percentage chance on that A3 ability to land that decreased defense, which is attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 40% chance when booked up, it's gonna go 50 to 65. So 65% chance per hit on a three hitter of placing a 60% decreased defense, which is absolutely incredible. You don't have to worry about weak hits because he's void affinity. So the run's not gonna be 100% because there are gonna be situations where he does get resisted by the spider but it's not going to be super frequent, right? So it's going to help you go ahead and finish this out pretty easily. Let me go ahead and start this one. And then we'll talk about stage 10 and the thumbnail, which had Kale in it and how you can use really any starter champion and get this done. No problem. So here we go. We have the four cold hearts popping off. I mean, you always got to use four cold hearts, right? I mean, we got it 11 seconds at spider stage 20, 11 seconds, super easy. And now just run this for about 2,100 energy, give or take, and you're going to be good to go. You're gonna get yourself a void shard, probably an ancient shard as well, because your tournament probably isn't that stacked. And uh, yeah, some soul coins, some soul stones, it's gonna be no problem. But now, the legendary stage 10. Let me go ahead and throw this champion here alone. I'll show you guys his gear right after this. Now, I do wanna preface this by saying, this is not gonna be a speed run, okay? It may be hard to believe, Kale's an amazing champion, but he's not gonna be speed soloing stage 10 of Spider. It's gonna be pretty easy, of course, I mean, it's stage 10, but he has no turn meter manipulation stuff. So he's not gonna be able to do it super fast. But why are we doing stage 10 anyways? We don't need this page, we need this page. So stage 10 of spider, while, while Kale's doing this stuff in the background, we'll go ahead and talk about stage 10 of spider. So stage 10 of spider, let me go ahead and get my little notepad up here. Let's go ahead and draw some shapes. Stage 10 right here has a, it says code bug, okay? Missing a zero. So basically on stage 10, if you guys don't know, you haven't watched the channel during one of these events basically you have an 18.2 percent chance of getting four star drops but then you have an 81.8 percent chance of getting five star drops and five star drops are where the biggest point percentage comes from you get so many more points from five star versus four star compared to say epic versus rare okay so rarity doesn't give you a huge boost in points it does a few points but nothing crazy but the star ranking is where you get the biggest boost. So if you can't do stage 20 very easily, stage 10 is 100% worth it. If you scroll down here to the bottom of this little sheet, you can actually see the tournament point breakdown. So stage 10, you can see the tournament points per energy spent is gonna be, so tournament points per energy is gonna be one point per energy. Compare this to stage 20, which is down here, stage 20 is gonna be 1.1. So if you can do stage 20 pretty fast, pretty consistently, it definitely makes sense. Stage 20 is gonna be better. Now this is taken into consideration on stage 10, you will have a chance of getting the XP brews. You will have a chance of getting the shards as well. So you're not always gonna be getting gear, but that is calculated in this percentage chance. So doing stage 10 is very, very much worth it. And I mean, you're gonna be able to sell stuff for, for silver as well. You're gonna be getting silver. So you're still getting stuff along the way. Obviously right here, you can see 
that I didn't get any pieces of gear, so I didn't actually get any spider points from that. That The points you just now saw was from my CVC. I don't know how long that match was. Unfortunately, I skipped past it, but it was probably like a, a minute or two. It wasn't that long, but it's definitely not a speed run like I mentioned. So the spider tournaments, let me show you guys this real quick, okay? So spider tournaments come in here. This is what I was talking about as far as the points go. So rank uh, four star is seven points, but a five star piece is 15 points. That is a huge jump. It is double. And then the difference between five star and six star isn't that significant. But the rarity, you don't got a huge boost, okay? From rare to epic is a one point boost. And then epic to legendary is a three point boost. But the main boost is going to come right here between that four and five. And like I said, on stage 10, you're only getting four and five star pieces, which is weird. The reason why this is a bug is because if you look at the stage right after it, you would think the higher stages you go, the drop rates would increase, but you actually get less of a chance of getting five star pieces of gear. So you actually get 40% less chance basically of getting five star drops from stage 11 than you do stage 10, which is very, very odd. Now, let's say on stage 10, you wanna use Kale. If you wanna use any of the starter, it doesn't matter. Probably any champion to be honest, any rare champion, with life still gear is gonna do this pretty easily. Now I do wanna say this Kale's gear is probably, I don't know, it's, it's not really that crazy to be honest. I do have his masteries done. You don't need accuracy, honestly. You got 166, but you only need 100 to actually apply the poison on that spider boss because it's stage 10. You want decent speed. I'd say probably 200 plus, you should be fine. But as long as you're healing, you're gonna be okay. You could pro possibly even not run crit rate and crit damage, but to be honest, you might die. Depends on how squishy it is, but I do have the masteries finished for him because my OG champion, right? My OG champion, I had his masteries done from a long time ago, but apparently I haven't filled them out completely. But there we go, we got flawless execution. Let me hide myself so you guys can see that. If you want to do it, war master is going to work fine as well. Flawless execution may bring some more damage depending on how your kale is actually geared um, because war master is capped based on the enemy's max HP. Helm smasher could probably do pretty, as well, pretty well also. But let's talk about my actual team that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be doing stage 20. Stage 20 probably makes the most sense for me because I can have a fast team, 11 seconds, get it done super quick. As far as these champions go, as far as their gear, Dilgo, all these champions are fully booked. You want to make sure your cold hearts have at least 70% crit rate to land that heart seeker to decrease the turn meter and get that huge, massive max HP hit. Get them good crit rate, get them good crit damage, get them good speed. 200 plus ideally, but to be honest, as long as you're going 151 plus, you're going to go before the spiderlings and you're going to kill the boss, right? You have Dilgo doing decreased defense, assuming he lands it, you're going to be good to go. If he misses it, it's probably going to be a fail. But get your cold hearts are all in similar gear sets. It's not going to be too difficult. All minor and in, in instinct gear, which is going to um, ignore some of the defense and give me a little bit boost to speed. You can see right here what they have going on. We have instinct, which let's go ahead and click this. This is a forge pass set. 12% speed boost and ignores 15% of enemies defense and the masteries are right here in case you guys want to copy that Now, let's say you just want to do stage 10. That's all you really care about You can definitely throw in a ton of different rare champions kale you can throw in bellower You can throw in apothecary you can build a full-out team fleshmonger has a decreased defense on his a3 It is a little bit of a low chance to place it. So it's a little bit more consistent to bring dilgul um, Stage 10 is magic affinity. So no issues there whatsoever um, but yeah, you could literally throw a few cold hearts here in here as well. So you have one cold heart, a bellower, and uh, let's say you wanted to use a war maiden as well, because war maiden has a decreased defense, 100% chance to land when fully booked on her A3 ability, and she's a free champion of farm. If you want to bring something like this, you could do stage 10 and a fraction of the time. It's going to be no problem. Now you would want to set the presets because cold heart is weird and she doesn't use her presets correctly. Kale does get a turn meter boost from his A3 on the crits, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and... Use Cold Hearts A3 there. Boom. Nice big hit. War Maiden should be going first with that decreased defense, but my obviously I'm not speed tuned for this to work correctly. But with Cold Hearts turn meter reduction, it's going to allow your team to just completely kill the boss. And then the spot, big spider is never even going to get a turn. So there you go. 46 seconds with four champions that most people probably have if you've been playing for a little while. Nothing specific. We literally soloed with Kale. Very, very easy run to do. As long as you have 2100 energy that you're willing to spend on Spider and you're not worried about upcoming possible fusions and saving for that, it's definitely an event worth doing in my opinion because the rewards are there. You're getting points for CVC. And yeah, I think it's just a win-win situation all around. But let me know if you have any more interesting team. So best of luck to you all. Thank you all very much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next video.